Hi guys, sometimes the greatest journalistic questions are not asked by people from that profession, but by comedians, ironically. So a bit of context here. The IEA, for anyone who doesn't know them, is a right-wing think tank that recently was supporting Liz Truss when she was Prime Minister. The IEA, according to their Wikipedia page, support the abolition of the NHS, they have published climate change denial material, and have received tens of thousands of pounds from the tobacco industry. They also refuse to disclose who their donors are. But for some reason, when they're invited onto the BBC, LBC, or other media outlets, this information is left out, and they are treated like a normal think tank, providing information to either the public or government. Comedian Dom Jolly asked the question that people like Ian Dale seem too scared to ask. Have a listen. Explain to me, I'm sorry, I'm really, as a comedian, I'm not a professional c- c- politician, I know nothing. What is the IEA? I don't get it. What do you do? Well, we're, we're a think tank. Even go <laughs> no, we're, I'd we're, love to. We're a free market think tank. We You're advocate. a free, and who pays you then? We, who funds we're, you? We're paid by, all, funded by all sorts of individuals, Tobacco. foundations, corporates who believe in our mission. I mean, right. I mean, it, there's, there's left-wing think tanks, there's right-wing think tanks, there's... Yes, there are left-wing think tanks and there are right-wing think tanks, but there's a massive difference between your think tank and them. They actually disclose who their donors are. They actually put it on their website. Every year, this is how much money we received, and this is where the money came from. The IEA doesn't do that. When they're pushed on it, they say, well, this is private information. We don't disclose. They actually say, we don't disclose who our donors are. So so you have unknown people donating to a think tank, and this think tank is advising government, or was advising Liz Truss. And what did Liz Truss do? She crashed the economy. Did the, did the IEA criticise Liz Truss at the time? No. They, they were supportive of her, which you're going to hear in just a moment. It contains all sorts of perspectives, and we have a, a, an educational mission and, and purpose that we Isn't pursue. what you're saying it's the same thing as Liz Truss was saying yesterday, it's just she came back and just said, it, you know, we had the right idea, but we just, you know, it wasn't done right. All these great ideas don't seem to be done right. I don't get it. Has anyone ever done it right? Has anyone ever done it right? Well, of course. I mean, uh, time and time again, we've seen throughout history as um, taxes are reduced, as we allow free trade, as we cut regulations, that people are freer and more prosperous. But I mean, just the, not, U- just the UK waffle. had an extreme period. <laughs> Just waffle exactly. It's, he couldn't come up an exam, with an example. So, well, if we just cut taxes, it's going to boost uh, growth. That was Liz Truss's whole pillar. What I'm going to do is cut taxes for the richest, and then this money is going to trickle down and grow the economy. It's been demonstrated to be a failure. But it's not even designed to work. It's just designed to help people who donate to think tanks like the IEA. They don't. They make massive donations. They're, it's confirmed with them that, don't worry, we're not going to disclose who you are. And what we're going to do is we're going to advise Liz Truss on how to run government. Liz Truss didn't surround herself with experts. Going, she, she, didn't, she obviously didn't know what the hell she was doing, but she didn't reach out to people who actually knew and said, okay, what am I supposed to do? No, she surrounded herself with people who said, What you need to do to grow the economy is cut taxes, and cut taxes for the richest. Make the richest even richer. And what was Liz Truss suggesting recently? Well, what we need to do is cut benefits. So make the rich richer and the poor poorer. That's how we're going to grow the economy period of success post the Thatcher reforms and into the 90s and 2000s. We had a much more successful open uh, uh, economy. I mean, you have to say that's surely... When the UK was a member of the European Union, ironically, which the IEA is supportive of Brexit. I forgot to mention that as well. So, yeah, we, we, you know, when we were a member of the European Union, we had a, uh, a booming economy. Or the European community at the time, when it was Thatcher. But they, they, this think tank is just about cutting tax. It's about funneling money into the private sector from government or reducing the size of government for ordinary people. A, a relative time of prosperity that, that came out of market-based reforms. Um, you know, I can give time so time again. why did Liz Truss fail then? Well, Liz Truss failed for her own reasons. Liz, Liz Truss um, tried to spend a lot of money um, as well as cut taxes without doing anything on the spending side. It was irresponsible. Um, she wanted to spend a lot of money. No, the, the, the problem here was that the, the tax cuts that she was talking about were unfunded wasn't that she was going to spend a lot of money. Of course, the IEA wants small government. They don't want 
the government spending money on people. The only, the, gov- the only money they want the government spending on is on the private sector, funneling money into the private sector. It's not about growing the economy by actually investing in public uh, services or, as I've said before, for every pound you, the government spend, they generally get back three. This is completely alien to the likes of the IEA. And she tried to well, get you guys much. right behind her, though. I mean, uh, Liz Truss is Liz Truss. I mean, there were certain things that I supported. But wasn't she your, there were certain There were certain, your, your there were certain things like the energy price guarantee that uh, my colleagues at the well, IEA criticised quite heavily. To be fair, the IEA were fully heavily. behind Liz Truss. You were fully behind her, so yeah, I just don't quite understand why. Well, I don't think that's true. <laughs> now he's like, oh, no, no, well, we weren't fully behind Liz Truss. Yes, you were. Liz Truss wants to put one of the IEA members in the House of Lords. That's one of the guys is on her honor on her honor list. Why do you think that's the case? I don't know if it's the head, the the current head of the IEA she wants to put into the House of Lords. So this is what we're talking about. Let's just crash the economy. She wants to come back and crash it again. And why did she do that? Because she was surrounded by idiots, by people who didn't know what the hell they were doing or didn't care about the consequences. It's great that you know you have a comedian calling this out, asking who funds you, who are you, what are you up to, when journalists just invite them on and say thank you for coming on. Now give us your opinion on the economy or on on what we should be doing. No pushback whatsoever. No checks. These are extremely important. The public need to know who these people are. They can't rely on comedians or some two bit YouTuber. You. The journalists are paid to provide this information to the public. And if they don't, that's a massive failure. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.